Hi everyone, let's continue with our PSLE booklet Geometry Part 2. Pattern in the box shows part of a tessellation. Extend the tessellation by drawing two more unique shapes. So now I need to draw two more unique shapes. I know I can draw it here and here. So let's look at the figure. Okay, to find a pattern, let's look at this. I can know that, okay, I know this part here. I can join this would be similar so I just follow this pattern and I go down so this is one of my unit shape the next one I need to draw it here let's look at this and I find that I can have one line I look for one line and a slant line so I can follow this pattern so next, I draw the horizontal, vertical line up, diagonal line, line down. Right. So now I have my one unit shape and my two unit shape. In the diagram below, the, the letters T, E, A, M are drawn on a square grid. List all the letters that have perpendicular lines. I know perpendicular lines must be 90 degree so let's look at this i know t has 90 degree e has 90 degree for a there is no 90 degree and let's look at m this is not a 90 degree however these two lines form 90 degree so m has 90 degree so t e and m are my three letters refer to the square grid above and fill in the blanks a b c p or q Point what is east of point. So I know east, if this is my, this is north, this is south, this is east and west. I need to find a point that is this way. East. So let's look at this and I find, I identify A and C. So I know C is east of A. Point C is east of point A. Next. I want to identify southwest. Southwest would be here. So if I look at this, I know that southwest is 90 degrees. So I know point Q is southwest of point C. Question 23. In the square grid below shows the plan of a playground. The bench is north of the toy car. In what direction is the swing from the seesaw? So seesaw is our point of reference. So the swing is west of the seesaw. West, huh? this is north, this is west, this is south and this is east. Town council wants to plant a tree. The location of the tree is to be the north of the swing. So any part here, be north of the swing and southwest of the slide. So slide must be southwest of the slide so this is north south east and west so southwest is somewhere here so i need to find plant the tree here question 24 25 26 and 27 we will do in class and let's look at question 28 in the figure k l and m n are straight lines so whenever they give me straight lines i must identify that straight lines will either ask for angles on a straight line or vertically opposite angles so from here i know that for these two lines they cross each other and they are vertically opposite so now find angle x plus my 55 degree is actually my angle 120 degree so angle x will be 120 degree minus 55 degree and the answer is 65 degree so i know this is 65 degree let's look at angle y question 29 find angle y angle y is at the point so and here i know it's is 90 degree because it gives me a right angle so angle y plus 45 degree 
plus 90 degree plus 20 degree will give me 360 degree. So find angle Y will be 360 minus 90 minus 45 minus 20. And the answer is 205 degree. So therefore angle Y is 205 degree. Question 30. In the figure below, X, ACD and BCE are straight lines. These are straight lines, so I know. Alright, and ABE is 55 degree. Angle D, EC is 114 degree. And angle B, D, A, B is 90 degree. So here, I need to find this angle. In order for me to find this angle, I must identify where the angle lies. It lies in this triangle. Angle C, D, E. So first, I need to find out this angle. So this angle and this angle, they are vertically opposite because it intersect at the point. So easily I can find angle B, C, A which is my 180 degree minus 90 minus 55 and the answer is 35 degree. So angle D, C, E is also 35 degrees vertically opposite angles. Therefore angle C, D, E is 180 minus 114 degree minus 35 degree and it is 31 degrees therefore angle a d e or c d e is 31 degree question 31 the figure a b c d is a rectangle so rectangle i can identify by drawing 90 degree so this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree. BD is equal to ABE, which means this is an isosceles triangle. So I can note if this is 40, my this whole angle would be 40 degree. So now let's look for this angle. So I know that this angle lies inside a Uh, either it can lie in the rect rectangle or inside this isosceles triangle so the side of this isosceles triangle first I need to find what is this angle so to find the ang this angle I take 360 minus of trans 260 minus of 90 will give me this angle here so this angle is called angle C D, E. Angle C, D, E will take 360 minus 260 minus 90, which is 10 degree. This is angles at a point. And how do I find this angle here? I know that this whole thing is 40. So you minus 10, so angle B, D, C is 40 degree minus 10 degree, answer is 30 degree. So answer is 30 degree. Question 32, Rani has a rectangular piece of paper. She folded it along the dotted line as shown, find angle Y. So I know this is 90 degree because this is a rectangular piece of paper. So if I draw before it is folded, it will look like that. So which means this is my right angle. Right? This is my right angle. This is my right angle. So this angle here is the same as my angle Y. When I unfold this, so first I need to find what is my angle 2Y plus 26 would be my 90 degree. So I take 2y equals to 90 degree minus my 26 degree which is 64 degree. 
therefore my y is 64 degree divided by 2 32 degree so my angle y equals to 32 degree Question 33. In the figure, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So I know parallelogram. I must remember to draw my parallel lines. C, D, F, C, F, D and E, B, F are straight lines. So this is a straight line. And this is a straight line. Okay. So a straight line. And these are the angles given. So first, from here, I know that I can find this angle because a straight line is 180 degree. This whole angle is 180 minus 150. So this is my 30 degree. Therefore, angle CBF is 180 minus 150 is my 30 degree. So this is 30 degree here. Okay. And... From here, if I see a parallel line, I know I can find my alternate angles. So I know that this angle is the same as this angle. So angle B, D, A is 50 degree, which is 30 degree plus 20 degree. So B, D, A is 50 degree. Voila, I can find my answer for B, 50 degree. Let's look for answer for A. Now, in a parallelogram, I know this is 45. Opposite angles are the same. So this is also 45 degree. Right? And if this is 45. How do I find? And this is 50 degree. I know I can find this angle. So this angle angle A B D is 180 degree minus 45 degree minus 50 degree inside this triangle right so which is 85 degree so I know this is 85 degree and lastly let's find angle E B A we know it falls here inside this straight line so it's 180 degree minus 85 degree minus 20 degree and the answer is 75 degree therefore angle B E B A is 75 degree question 34 in the figure A B C D is a straight line B D E F is a parallelogram so I find draw my parallelogram EC is equals to EF which means that this is an isosceles triangle alright and know that angle FAB is 90 degree first let's look at angle X to find angle X I know that I can find this which is angle ABF is 180 minus 90 degree minus 40 degree 
which is 50 degree. So I know this is 50 degree. Therefore, angle X is 180.